This is an overview of ITG Center Program Management. My name is Jack Campbell and I am a Program Manager in OIT. During this overview, I will introduce program management and some of the benefits it can provide. I will show you how to create a program in ITG Center and talk about the best practices that are essential for effective use of program management. I will demonstrate a few key portlets and options for configuring them. And finally, I will show you how to set up the Program Performance Metrics Portlet. You may find it helpful to print out the quick reference guide that is provided with this online tutorial. All the details covered in these videos are documented in it. The quick reference guide is available in the column to the right of this video. Throughout this series of videos, we will use a fictitious program called the Minnesota GIS program as an example. This program has four projects in it. There is the primary GIS statewide infrastructure project and three related projects. Now that I've given you an overview of what will be covered in this series of videos, for the remainder of this video, we'll take a look at what a program is and some best practices for working with a, with a program, how to get access to program management in ITG Center, and where to go for additional help. So what is a program? A program is simply a series of related projects. You might organize projects into a program for several different reasons. For example, you might want to group projects together that are all working towards a particular business objective, or you may want to group together a project that are being conducted for a particular customer. Organizing projects into a program provides managers with a broader view of the projects and how they impact each other. They enable managers to more effectively manage issues, risk, and scope changes that are interrelated between projects. One example that helps to illustrate how program management can be helpful is building a house. Building a house involves many interrelated projects, such as the foundation and site work, framing, exterior finishes, mechanical rough-ins, interior finishes, and landscaping. These projects have to happen in a certain order, and what happens with one project may impact the other projects. For example, you can't put in the walls before the foundation is complete. If the foundation project is delayed, then the framing project will be directly impacted and potentially other projects as well. For the contractor, having a comprehensive view of all the significant tasks and milestones involved in building a house helps him to coordinate and manage issues that impact the success of the individual projects as well as the overall final product. However, changes to one project in a program do not always have to impact the success of the program. For example, the customer may decide to put off the landscaping project until a later time due to budgetary constraints. This scope change to the program does not impact the other projects or the, or the overall success of the program. The house still gets completed. In our example, Minnesota GIS program, the manager will want to be aware, for example, that purchasing delays have extended the timeline for the statewide GIS infrastructure project. The change in timeline for this project directly impacts the other three projects. In ITG Center, the purchasing issue that occurred in one project can be escalated to the program so that the manager can work to mitigate its impact on the other three projects and the program as a whole. There are some important best practices to be aware of as you work with program management in ITG Center. How you set up the individual projects in the program determines the quality of data and reporting you'll be able to get out of the program. It is a best practice to use milestones to show important achievements in your projects. Including milestones enables the program manager to see the progress that is being made on the individual projects in the program. It is important to use clear descriptive labels for your summary tasks and milestones in your projects. This will improve the quality of reports coming out of the program. Finally, it is important to be consistent between projects in how you set up your work plan and break down the tasks in your project. This will provide more meaningful data within the program. To use the program management module in ITG Center, you will need to have a program management license. To request access, you will need to fill out an access request form and include the ITG Center attachment with your request. Once you have viewed the videos in this series, if you need additional help with using program management in ITG Center, contact the Campus Technology Helpline to open a support ticket. 
This concludes the first video in the ITG Center Program Management Overview. In the next video, I will show you how to create a program in an ITG Center, and we'll talk about some things you need to be aware of concerning tracking issues, risk, and scope changes as they relate to program management.